What's going on guys? It's me, your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. So, we are going to be off to an interesting start today, because thankfully I didn't make it far, right? Like, uh, it chose an ideal time to happen, which was about eh, three minutes into the episode, but I got about this far during my first attempt of this episode, and... I fought this Cyclops, right? And then about 60 seconds afterwards, I don't know if it's like because of the Cyclops. Like this is what happened in episode two. I beat a Cyclops and then suddenly my game crashed. Maybe that's not a reoccurring thing. Let's hope not that every time I beat a Cyclops, my game doesn't crash. That would be horrendous. But yeah, that's what happened. The guys that we were with, the soldiers, um, they said, uh, his name's Gregor, I believe. He... I think that's them up there right now, as a matter of fact. He gave me the option to accompany him or split off. It's kind of like what happens with Rayloff of Riverwood when you start a Skyrim game, right? Like, you can either continue to go with him to Riverwood, or you can go off somewhere else and join with the, the Imperials or whatever, if that's a terrible decision you want to make. But um, we... I say we. It was me. I, I let the intrusive thoughts win, and I threw a giant barrel at this wall over here where the river's coming out, and it was glorious. It was just like Monster Hunter World <laughs> in the ancient forest up in the wyvern's nest. It was very satisfying. But I do want to talk about something real quick. This is, this is going to be a very, very brief thought. Um, there is a lot of discourse happening with this game right now. It's, um, it's, there's a lot of people that are I think, this is my opinion, people that are being super dramatic about, like, the microtransactions and stuff, I'm not gonna, like, pull a fighting cowboy and go off on, a like, a 40-minute tangent about it and yell at you guys, but I am going to say that I do find it a bit silly, right? Like, if you want to miss out on a game this good, which, don't get me wrong, the performance issues, those are something to legitimately complain about. Like, I, you know don't think it's ridiculous or silly for people to get mad about performance issues because if you pay $70 for this game, you want to be able to, to play it, right? That's a pretty valid concern, but to me, the whole thing about like people getting pissed off about the microtransactions and stuff and just ultimately deciding not to play the game because of that, because they think it's just this horrible, rotten, sinful thing that Capcom has done, don't do that. Like, it's fine. You don't have to buy those things. They don't make the game pay to win. They will hardly add any kind of advantage to your playthrough whatsoever. And, uh... Oh. I think... Alright, we'll try out the ox cart feature. But I do think it's... It's just a little bit overdramatic to me. Like, I don't think anybody should miss out on this game because of silly microtransactions. Like, that's... Is this another camping kit? Jeez. Why does it give you so many? Yeah, my advice is play the game. It's really good so far. Like, even even with the performance issues, even with that frustrating aspect, the, the performance issues that... How do I sit? How do I sit? There we go. Even the performance issues that basically ruined the start of this episode for me and made my game crash. Like, even then, I'm still having a blast. Like, I'm having a ton of fun playing this game. I think it's great. And people are saying that the root of the issue, like, the real performance issues, are in the place we're about to go that we haven't gone yet, the, the main town. Um, triangle button says to doze off. That's kind of cool that we can do that. Does that speed things up? <laughs> you damn goblins interrupted my nap. How about some smoke? Wait, is that it? Are they done? Did we just cook them? That's awesome. Seems we drove them off. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join? All right. Into the ox cart. Well, that didn't go very well the first time, man. I mean, should I? Wait a minute. That's a merchant. You've got wares. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Explore boots. I'm pretty sure this is what we already have, isn't it? No, that has less defense than what we have. Um. Those are kind of hot. 
the miner hose in. Already seen that. Man, you don't have anything good. But you know what? I do. And I'm gonna sell it to you. For the right price. Um, who has all our monster materials? This guy. So... We'll sell some of this stuff. I'll keep our Cyclops materials because that's not a super common enemy so far. But we are going to get rid of the basic stuff that we can pick up from every mob. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Wait, what does everybody else have? Here we go. More goblins. Horns. Stuff. Things. I wouldn't recommend it. Pleasure doing business with you. Yes, pleasure was all mine. So you know what else we're going to do real quick? We're going to do something to consolidate. We're going to create healing items for everybody. Um, sure. Because it'll bring our weight down <laughs> and everything. Exquisite dried meat. Wait, what does that even do? The exquisite dried meat... Pretty sure it's just a healing item, right? So it's like it's not like we missed out on anything. To cure the blighted debilitation. Sure, we'll take a few of those. <clears throat> Alright. You can't combine anything. Oh, it's universal. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that brought our weight back down too. So let's try this again. It didn't go well the first time because we got attacked. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Oh, the following more. That was fast. It's not that far away, is it? It took us a whole day to get there via ox cart. Vernworth, capital of Vermond. Nice. So this field here that we're looking at with all the crops and everything, so this looks this looks like the area by the pawn guild where the cockatrice attacks in the first game. Cool stuff. That guy, recognize him from the beginning of the game. He was the one that introduced the Sovereign. Why does he look so angry with me? I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt. This individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad source. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. So this guy, I like how he just completely ignored everything said to him just now. He's one of these types where it's just like, okay, I see your point, but I don't. Here's the deal. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. Oh, good lord. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. What? <laughs> if the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. Queen Regent? Who's that? I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, may I I ought to explain the situation before we proceed? You... And no other are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Wait a minute. Don't tell me that that was us in the first cutscene. Some days passed. You confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Oh boy, now we get to see what actually happened. 
before the intro cutscene. Your rival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deeser of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To D, sir, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Okay, so let's recap real quick. That's what happened. So it was us in the intro cutscene. That was us that sat down on the Draken throne, and then... This bitch, Deza, or <laughs> what that sounds kind of like an a reference to Aragon, Derza, bad guy, wiped our memory and sold us to a place that enslaves pawns. It makes them stack rocks for a living. Makes sense. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. He just leaves the building like, he's a phony! <laughs> this one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Thanks, man. I like this guy. What's this? Why is it glowing? It's compelling me to read it. Regarding the oath, both Vermin and Batal, uh, I'm Batal is the, the other half of the kingdom with the cat people, according to the launch trailer, regard the scourge of the dragon as a matter of the utmost priority. Should the baleful creature alight on either side of the border, both nations are sworn to provide aid, as well as to assist in the evacuation of the populace and with scouting missions as needed. In such an event, all troops are expected to put aside any disagreements of faith or culture and devote themselves wholeheartedly to their duty. So essentially, everybody's going to come together in the event that the dragon attacks and have each other's backs. It's kind of cool. A noteworthy and respectable decree. So here we are. We are in uh, the blight town of this game. What? You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? You just saw him talking to me and said, get back here. I don't feel compelled to answer this question, man. Uh... Okay, here's the funny thing. Here's a life lesson for y'all. If given the opportunity to see if somebody is full of shit, take it. Anything. I'll catch that wretch yet. Okay. So the funny thing is... You're a kind one, aren't you? No. It seem I am in your debt. I mean, you can pay me, but I'm not very nice. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Look, man. I just got my memories back, okay? I'm a busy guy. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to be arisen. I'm trying to go grocery shopping. Trying to find a way to knock that damn ladder down at the end of the last episode. Do you feel me? I don't have time for this. But I'm not going to be mean to you. Aha! There you are! Look at me. I'm not even talking to this guy. I'm like, what am I staring at? <laughs> oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. Let me guess, other guy is going to come break the immersion again? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, there was something glowing behind him. I want it. So yeah, that's something that I actually do 
pretty regularly, I think it's pretty funny actually, is if you know somebody is asking you a question that they already know the answer to and they want to see if you will tell the truth, lie. And then call them out. Be like, somebody opened my chest for me. Yeah. Lie. Deliberately. Call them out. Be like, well, if you already knew the answer, why did you ask me? Alright. So, this is the dreaded blight town of this game. The place where the frames drop severely, apparently. I don't know what to expect, but we're going to take our time through here. We're not going to overdo it. Hey! You're welcome. Your, uh, grandpa, I think it was. Your grandpa owes me. Don't forget. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption. But were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Mel? Speak of the grandpa. I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my jiving. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Hmm. You're chiding indeed. Now listen. Isn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. A shop-wide discount, you say? Well, let's see what you got. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, it's no Trader Joe's, but something small can be stored within. Okay, so I have uh. <laughs> Come again. He can sell me a box to put my box in another box so I can mail that box to me and when it arrives I'll smash it with a hammer. All right, we're already getting a lick of the frame rate issues. I can see is this a bouncer? Is he not going to let me through here? No. Yep. Guy took one look at my strangely feminine stance, which I did not mean to do during character creation. People have been pointing that out a lot. I'm just like, I get it, dude. My guy is caked up like a gym mom, but he's not supposed to run with his knees pointed in like that. That's weird. It's kind of a mistake. What's down there? Goodness, I'm like, I'm getting overwhelmed, like directionally overwhelmed here. Um, I'm looking for, particularly what I'm looking for right now is how to get up to the border so we can run around the outskirts, like the roofs and stuff. Because obviously that's going to be where the Seekers tokens and stuff are, right? Hello. And then there's no marker on our map currently, so it doesn't look like we have an active quest that we... Hello. You something. <sighs> Karugian's Tome. That sounds... Like a magic item. A tome that grants pawn and the the Karukian specialization, allowing them to use curatives on the Arisen and other allies their own initiative. Okay, so that's cool. You basically... Um, now that I think about it and apply the appropriate amount of thought, that is a very cool item. You can essentially run no healers, right? Like, you can go mageless... Hello, what's this? Dang, just copped their whole savings account. Oh no, it's getting dark. Um, you can run mageless, right? You can have no curative support and uh, other pawns can heal, I guess, using their own inventory is, is what I would assume would happen. Sorry, I'm just stealing everything. I can't help it. I am playing as the thief class. Oh man, I totally get it. These This frame rate is egregious. Can you go up the stairs, please? This frame rate is terrible. Okay. I understand now what people were saying. Hey, this is what I was looking for. A way to get up. Because look, this is what happens when you get up to the roof in these games. Is, or at least it was in the, in the first game. You find your way up to the roof. And that's how you find treasure chests and stuff. It's great. Damn it. All right. Come on. So, yeah. Okay. Frame rate in town is pretty bad. Are you the Saxton of this game? 
Yep. Welcome to Fjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths. Masterworks all. Can't go wrong. Here we go. Finally. Actual thief armor. Hmm. This one's clearly the best. What is that? For a sorcerer? Okay. Um... Okay. Well, we have a lot of money, so at least we can at least we can afford to that raises lightning defense. We can afford to drip ourselves out, you know what I mean? That offers a good amount of elemental resistance. This is good for poison. And then there is rings. So, we already have both of these. All right. I think it's time to buy this and then Uh, yeah, that seems to be the answer for sure. I mean, it's expensive, but it's good. Dang, that thing's expensive. All right, so we need this. It seems to be the best armor that we can wear and then definitely the sprinter's boots those will help a lot give us way more defense definitely want those and as far as cloaks and stuff go it's really all about the resistances right so like this one is going to give us really good lightning resistance this one is going to give you fire plus sleep and then the fire debilit fire blight debilitation. This one's going to give lightning. I don't know what those symbols are at the bottom. But it doesn't matter because I don't like the way it looks. I like the way this one looks. So we're going to buy that. It's going to look good with our outfit. All right. Here we go. Now I can sell the stuff that I got rid of like this and this and this um i have two of these interesting that's right we picked up another one i forgot and then the ring of assurance not gonna sell that i will sell you a goblin horn though <laughs> wait where's the rest of my inventory and then, what's it going to take to upgrade stuff? I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I just want to see. Well, it just costs money to upgrade. Um, so, no, there are no material requirements for any of these. It's just money, right? We have money. Plenty of it. So we may as well. <laughs> I don't know how soon we're going to pick up better weapons, so I'm just going to enhance this thing while I'm able to, because obviously it's cheap and we have the materials. So let's take it to level 3. Why not? I don't know how soon we're going to pick up new equipment, so we may as well at least get to the first level on all of this stuff, because again, it's not super expensive. Upgrading equipment was dreadfully expensive in the first Dragon's Dogma. It got unbelievably expensive we have the material so we're gonna do this okay leap worms and griffin stuff so it looks like so leap worms skin we're gonna have to find those to get both of these pieces upgraded and then a poison pinion that sounds like something from a cockatrice if you ask me um nothing else we can sell I mean, except this. I mean, we won't need that. We can go get more. We can go find some wolves or something, you know. 
I'm going to sell you this because it's rotten. Now, I'm not crazy, right? He didn't have weapons. He only has armor. Hope to see you again. So you know what I should have done? I should have gone over here. Is this the, the weaponsmith? No. That's the grocer. Who is the weaponsmith? This guy? I've all manner of arms for sale. Bet you do. Alright. Oh, damn it. Yeah, he had good stuff. Shit. Um Yeah, I need to I need to buy these. Come, have yourself a look. And we're gonna enhance them. So it only costs money on the first upgrade. Slate colored horn. Cool. Alright, so it will take that upgrade. As for chicken, we could definitely buy her a better sword and shield. 100%. We should do that. I think her armor is probably fine for now. She doesn't have a helmet. She could use one of those. But, um... Alright, let's do this, shall we? This is the best sword for chicken, so let's do that. Damage. And then... We'll get her the Pelta. Cool. Um, and then, what is it going to take to enhance? A small amount of gold. And harpy pinions. Except we don't have the money, so let's do this, shall we? We're going to... Equip chickens new stuff. Oops. Uh, this. <sighs> Come on. There we go. All right. Give this to chicken. Sorry, I don't know why this game. It really doesn't like my computer. Chicken, we're gonna give you this, and. This. Your damage is going to go up. Good amount. And now we're going to I've all manner of arms for some. sell that stuff. What else do we have? Okay. Oh, wow. These are worth a lot. Definitely getting rid of those. Come. Have yourself a look. Now, eh, we don't need to upgrade her shield. Honestly, what we need to do is buy her a helmet. Quality is what you need if you want to survive. So, yeah, chicken needs a helmet. Bad. Look at that. The berserk references, they don't stop. Okay, so this is clearly better, but this is the only one we can afford. So before you check the price, just remember many thanks. I appreciate All right. it. Thanks, Bjorn. Okay. Nice. We are definitely in better shape. We have better defense. We These are not as good as these. So I'm going to keep these on hand, but it looks like we're going to need materials to upgrade them. So, oh wow, the frame rate is bad here. Jesus. So let's look at our quests, shall we? Now that we've dripped ourselves out. Um, Seat of the Sovereign. Spellbound. Weapons for that guy. Oh, dang it, I shouldn't have sold my equipment. Um... I really, I really should try to do his quest line. I feel like he'll probably give you really good stuff. All right. We will prioritize Seat of the Sovereign for now. And what we're supposed to do is wait till nightfall, right? So we'll do that. Why is there an exclamation mark right here? Is it because of this thing? 
Fresh fruits for sale. Get them while they're here. Shipments like these are few and far between. A tween. <laughs> it said a tween. Few and far a tween. Right, what's in here? Is this the inn? Oh, this is where I'm supposed to meet that guy. Here we go. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. It's a nice sword, man. It is not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. All right, talk to me, man. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt him. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace. But the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. So rich people. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. Oh, sweet. He's not going to make me do dumb shit. He's going to make me... I get to do quests. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks or needed. What say you? Might I ask for you... Absolutely. You, your Majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trayvon Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermont. Nice. Okay, so because the game warned us in the beginning that time is a thing in this game, right? I'm not going to accept any additional tasks from him at the moment, but I am going to see if I have some new abilities. Um, why can't I? I'm trying to talk to somebody about my abilities and stuff. How do I... Uh, okay, maybe this is not the place to do that. So let's look at the map, shall we? Let's see if we can find where we're supposed to go. Okay, a salon. I can change the way I look there. That would be nice. Star drop in. Armory. Ox cart station. Uh, vocation guild. There we go. Let me out. Oh my god, I'm trapped. Is it this way? I think that's what it said, right? Yeah, here we go. Here's the money. Greetings. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining. Yes, I know. Um, skull splitter. There we go. Pilfer allows the user to rob targets that have been knocked off balance. Um, I feel like we already had an ability like that. Bump and lift, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait. So we can change to a warrior or a sorcerer. But I don't want to do that. I'm really enjoying the thief. So 
let's look at our weapon skills, shall we? I think we didn't unlock anything new, but it's fine. I'm thinking uh, probably Skull Splitter because yeah, we haven't been using it much, but we really need to. This doesn't get any additional damage, it just lasts longer, and I'm thinking pairing that with the Skull Splitter is probably the smartest thing to do. It'd be really cool to get an upgraded version of Ensnare, but I think I'm going to spend my points upgrading my highest damage ability, the Skull Splitter. And then Chicken, we're going to... Here we go. Hindsight Slash, a classic. Yeah, that's a good one. Dang, man. Okay. We already have that. Yeah, we'll give her this. And we'll get rid of that ability. Steeled Foundation, Enchanted Counter. Forgive me. All right. But I'm afraid to see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you, unless you were to... Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Have can give him secret tokens? Perchance? Um... Yeah, you can have them all. Oh, sweet. He gives you a fairy stone. Once you have five, you get the ring of the humans. Um, I don't think we have five yet, unfortunately. Damn. Ring of triumph. Oh, shit. It's the ring of favor and protection. Dousing spikes. What? Those things are good. They glow when treasure's near? Oh, man. Methinks Roderick, he runs the local armory. May fortune smile upon you, sir. All right, I'm going to steal from you. Sorry. The ring. <laughs> Pretty sure we already have one of these. Um, yep. Boosts maximum health. So, chicken doesn't have any rings. We give them to her. It should auto-equip them. Oh, it didn't. Okay, here we go. Bam! Now she's good. Oh, of course it's saying my stuff is new because I... Alright. We have a couple fairy stones. Doesn't matter, though, because we don't have a port crystal i'm sure that'll change soon though probably be fine um i'm pretty sure my other stuff is i need to go find the inn again is it through here yep oops sorry that was rude let me out you. Welcome to we serve all manner of fine ales here. Wait. Why can't I access my inventory? This is the weirdest town ever. Was it with him? Oops. Greetings. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If no. Assist, do come again. Bro, how do I access my inventory in this town? This is freaking weird. Um, the Pawn Guild. Maybe it's there? 
Let's go back and find out. Port crystal. Hey, there is a port crystal here. Cool. Damn, they look kind of cool in this game. Um, Say, okay. You've got a decent arm on you. No need to be humble. Just the other day, I watched you fell a massive monster with my own two arms. Pray, sir. Teach me to fight. I'm after an instructor, <sighs> sir. But the ones in this city are cravens. If I'm to grow stronger, I need to learn from someone who's seen actual... Baron. And this yeah. Baron fellow. I suppose you wouldn't recommend him. Many thanks, sir. Need yeah. You go find Baron, all right? I'm not your boy. I'm just a thief. You. Help me access my inventory. Oh my god, talk to him. Go on, have a look. What? Oh yeah, these are the Yeah, I could wear glasses. That's funny. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, um What the heck is this? A giant rift crystal. Alright, is there anything in here worth stealing? Oh, that's the entrance. What are you hiding from me, man? I know there's goodies in here. Good lord, this frame rate is awful. Alright. I'm confused, man. I... Well, hold on. There's a big box over here. Big box icon. Surely that is going to be how I... Except I... How do I get in? Hold on. How do I get into the box icon? Is it this? What is this nonsense? How do I... Okay. Hold on. Is it... Is it this window? There's another box icon over here. Are these just chest locations or like, am I crazy? Dried fish. Okay, I need to... I need to rest, apparently, until tomorrow, because it does not look like we can do anything right now. Where is the nearest campsite? Because I am broke. I'm glad we have infinite stamina while we're here. <laughs> All right, um, the ox stable. So if we use this, although I don't know how, is it this? Nope, that is just sitting for the sake of sitting, okay. Ooh, what's down this way? Woo! I think those lit up areas are probably trouble, right? Goblins and stuff. Where am I going? Oh. Uh. No one knows. Damn it. Sorry. I know you guys can hear that. Oh, this is another way out of town. Cool. Hell yeah. Let's explore a little bit. I ain't scared of the dark. What's going on over here? Zombies? Yeah! They're back. All right. Fire. Ha <laughs> Ha 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 ha. 
Nice. We cooked them. Cinnamon. Hell yeah. Zombies are back. I think that's pretty wicked. I liked fighting the undead enemies in the first game. There were different kinds. So I guess we're sticking to the main path here. Nothing wrong with that. I won't go too far. We're only going to do this until it brightens up a little bit because something tells me that the shops are closed. Get out of here. Yeah, we were not doing anywhere near this much damage to the skeletons before. This is a big upgrade. Okay, we got some goblins over here, it looks like. Wait, what's this? Where the false arisen. These imposters are undeserving of your benefaction. Do not let them swindle you. I hadn't planned on it, but... Damn. He just got absolutely fried. Oh, yeah. We're good. Okay. Governing soul? What's that? Come on, don't do this to me. Okay, invokes Halidom, a spell that cures certain debilitations. Okay, cool. No! Stop it, frame rate. Behave. Is that on ox cart? Cool. I wonder where they're headed. I'm going the opposite way. Because we need to kill time until daylight. Hello? Oof. Oops. I should probably aim that, right? That'd be smart. Yeah, get out of here. What are you guarding? A Jasper. Cool. So I'm thinking that in order to upgrade... What is that? Oh, it's the card. But it's glowing. Why is it glowing blue? That was funny. Did we, like... Did we secure the path for them? Like, did they do that because we got rid of the threat? That's a cool thought. Oh, hey, a campsite. What is that? Harpies? Hmm. Alright, found a campsite. All we have to do is uh, get rid of the goblins. Damn it. I keep I need to remember to aim my ability before I use it. Come here, you. Oh shoot. <laughs> I'm out of stamina. Man. Nice. <laughs> Put her there, Lulu. So these are just regular goblin horns I'm getting. I'm not getting the slate-colored horns. We probably have to fight stronger version of goblins, I would think. Okay, nothing hiding behind that. No chest. No nothing. Or, oh my goodness. Look at them. Having some roasted pig with no head. Headless bacon. It's the best kind. All right, let's set up camp. We'll run back during daytime. 
we'll have ourselves some delicious aged scrag of beast. We use these because they're on a time limit. I would probably be smart to give more curatives to my pawns. Alright. We'll rest till morning. Right. A nice, brisk, rainy morning. There's nothing better. So let's run back to... What's it called? It's not... It's not called Vermond, right? Or is that, is that the name of the town? All of the st all of the stuff starts with Ver in this game, so I'm already getting them mixed up. Saurians. All right, let's kick some ass. Let's see what's in this little house. Hmm, nothing. I know there's more Saurians, though. There's never just one of them. That's not a thing. Ooh, here we go. Nothing in here is going to kick my ass for getting this chest. <laughs> They would do that. It's a panacea. Ooh. Nope. Cusco's poison. You know what we're going to do with this? Just for you, pal. Oh! How dare you. Yeah, our damage is much better. I'm not going to say that we could necessarily handle the Chimera yet. I got something just for you, pal. Oh! Poor you! Damn it! Oops. I just, like, defied physics right there. I floated for a second. <laughs> Yeah, I get shredded. Give me that fish carved straight from your belly. All right. Gonna take your grapes, too. You don't need them. You're dead. Okay, what's in this house? Another chest. Ooh, sweet. We definitely needed that. Because I feel like as soon as we got to town, we ended up just draining our bank account. <laughs> Good stuff is for sale. Secrets token? I'm feeling a secrets token. This would be like a real butthole spot to put one to make you miss it. I still need to figure out how to access my inventory because I know we have more than one Seekers token, but I don't know how to get them out of my box. Ooh, another loot pile. Hi, birdie. Alright, can I make that jump? I don't think I can, but I'm going to try. It's just going to brine me if I can. It's no big deal. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what do we got? Prescribed Tranquility? Bet that'll put an enemy to sleep. Let's find out. Threshing Blaze, we've already seen that. Prescribed Tranquility. Yeah, man. Silencing a spell. Okay, so it won't put them to sleep. But it'll shut somebody the fuck up. That's a strong ability. 
damn brine. No! Don't brine my pawns. Oh, that was easy. He had, like, no health or defense. Okay, yeah, that ability takes a lot of stamina. Dang, she one-shot him. That's my girl. And then there's this guy. <laughs> she said, oh, you were gonna block, are you? Fine, I'll just send you into a blizzard. Alright, let's go check this out. Because I have a feeling there's going to be loot. Good loot. Oh, we need to be careful, though. Oof. Don't fall. Yeah, you get that. That's fine. Oof! Uh, I guess we're going to have to climb. Oh, come on. Yee. Come on. <laughs> come on. Oh. There's no way. There's no way it's not going to let me. Come on. Come on. You can reach that. Oh, yeah. So I guess... Hmm. I can't see around. I guess there's not. You probably need... If there's a double jump in this game, you probably need that to get it. Alright, fine. Fair enough. Let's go back to town then. Man, I was hoping that would have gone differently. But okay. It's fine. What are you doing? Harpies. Oh. <laughs> nice. So that didn't work. There we go. I was waiting for somebody to shoot him from behind. Finish the job. Ooh, chest. Fancy chest. Nah, bro. My turn. Oh, he just died. Dang! They're just getting destroyed. I love it. How do I get up there? Good lord. How do I get up there? Um, sure as hell can't climb. Bro. How the hell do you get up to that? Can I knock one of these trees down? No. What the hair? Oh, come on. I have that ability. Come on. Uh. There. But I don't... I guess I need to... Um... 
Is it here? No! <laughs> wow. That could have been dangerous. How the hell do you get to that? This is bothering me. All right, let's go see what's in here. Nothing on level one. Explosive arrows, okay. This will be useful whenever we decide we need to explode shit. Alright. What's going to be up at the next level? Ooh! More chests. I need money. Big money, big money. Big money, big money. No whammy, no whammy. Stop! Oh, that's fine. What are you doing? Standing, looking all cool. You're not where the action is. There's goblins downstairs if you want to help. Ooh! Thunderous Conquered. That sounds like another tome that will electrocute our enemies. Get out of my way, baldy. Ooh, this is another spot where we can... Dude, can I shoot that chest? I'm about to throw a fit, if that's the case. Uh, wait a minute. It's pointed. Okay, we need to... We need to use it. Come on, help me aim, y'all. Yes. I need to aim it down. Why can't I? There we go. Yeah. Oh boy, this is about to be clever if it's the case. Is it going to let me shoot the chest down? That'd be funny. It is right there, isn't it? Yep. So let's try. See if we can hit it. I can't aim any further down, unfortunately. Alright. Let's see if we can knock the chest down. Nope. <laughs> I don't know how we're supposed to get over there. I mean, I guess I could try to jump from the tower, but that sounds like guaranteed death. Um, Alright, what else can we aim at from here? I don't see any griffins or anything. This seems to be, That seems to be the weapon's main purpose, is griffins. But there are none. This landscape really reminds me of old school Monster Hunter. Forest and hills. Same colors, same textures. Very nostalgic. I like it a lot. that's enough of that how do I get to that it's bothering me all right time to run back down So I guess, I mean, I can't pull it down with my ability. 
Hmm. You know, something just crossed my mind. You know what you might have to do with that? Is you might have to grab onto a griffin or something that you're fighting out here and jump off of the griffin as it flies over that. That sounds just dirty enough to potentially be what they're going for with that particular instance. That could be it. All right, so we are straying further and further away from where we need to go. We need to get back to town. Like, we need to go this way. But I... How do I get back is the question. Oh, there we go. Bridge. Derp. All right, let's go. We're going to go back to town. Since it's daylight, we're going to see if there's a... Uh, well... I don't know. I don't think daytime or nighttime is going to affect our ability to get into our inventory. Like, they don't... The game doesn't really work like that, but... Or at least it shouldn't. Can I take this? No, it's already been looted. Okay. I was like, why is the tree still pregnant? How about this one? Yep, it's been looted. We literally just punched through the pregnant belly of that tree and just pulled the innards out. <laughs> How barbaric. Alright, what's up here? I can't ignore these instances of just obvious loot, right? Like, obvious places where they would put something. <laughs> and then they didn't! God! This game hates me. Alright, slide down. Alright. Man, I'm having a lot of fun so far. No microtransactions are going to ruin this for me. I could care less. Alright. We'll head back in. Oof. So tired. The Cropper's Quarters. Hell yeah. Loot piles? Yes, please. That means money, usually. Or branches and bones. Those are good, too, I guess. Can I get in this house? But there's loot. What? Hold on. It said something about... No, stop that. What did it just give me? Regarding the oath. Is it this? Locked doors. Keys or mechanisms, you say? Okay. Makes sense. So we can't get in. But... Is there even a reason to get in there? Yes, there is. I see a chest. Okay. Maybe we need to come back here at night. At night? What? No, I don't. I'm overweight. Okay, so this is technically not part of town because there's limited stamina here. Interesting. All right. Back into town we go, where we will have infinite stamina. Is this guy going to stop me? No. Okay, good. Infinite stamina, thank you. So let's try to find how we access our inventory before we end this episode, because it's not going to lie. It's low-key bothering me. I don't like the fact that we can't check our inventory at the inn. I mean, maybe we have to sleep first. Like, that could be it, but... I don't have enough money for that. Alright. So here's the inn. I think that's what it says. Shakir's inn. Okay, here we go. Different well, inn. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when Organized storage. Thank you. Jeez. Okay. We definitely need to put... Oh, stop that. We definitely need to put stuff away. We have some heavy materials on us. We have ores. We have skin. 
Horns, bones. Oh my. Oh, slime. Cool. We can enhance equipment with it, is what it said. These are a lot of tomes. I'm going to keep them on me just because, you know, we have a quest for them. It makes sense. Put our cinnamon away. Um, put these away because they're just heavy. We'll end up using them at some point. We don't need our super heal items. I say that, and then we're going to get destroyed. <laughs> um, okay, we have a wake stone. Probably should keep that on me in case I die. Panacea. We definitely like that. I mean, if we have the panacea on us, we definitely don't need any of these because they do the same thing. All right. And then chicken. She only want me for my pimp juice. these away put everybody's herbs away because we can just combine them in our inbox okay cool where are my seekers tokens see look we do have more than i thought you know where to find me yes i do thank you good sir i was getting frustrated And then the place where we do our abilities, right down here. Let's get this badass ring, shall we? Greetings. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining. Have you found any of the items? Oh, I'm so glad it's not just a quest to find twenty of them for two hundred thousand gold or whatever. <laughs> nice. Got ourselves the ring of the humans. Oh, wait. Um, <clears throat> we have a bunch of discipline points again already, which is good. Uh, I like our abilities. I like what we have. But I think what we should do is probably this. We should strengthen our fire blades. Maybe. Possibly. We're rank 5 out of 9. Yeah, it'd be better if this lasted longer. So, that's what she said. Always a pleasure. All right. I'm not going to worry about chicken's abilities. So, wow. That, like, hmm. I think this was a good episode, man. We covered a lot. We got to do plenty of fighting. And, yeah, the frame rate is bad. And, of course, my mouse noticeably... Um, acted up and kept disconnecting which is just the story of me playing this game unfortunately but i think what i'm going to do is uh off screen i'm going to i'm going to go take care of one thing before we end this episode just one thing and i want to see if we can upgrade any of our equipment because we did find some money right um i think what i'm going to do off screen though is i'm probably going to do a little bit of maintenance like i will root through my inventory, do a bunch of combining and stuff like that, and I will... Where is the... Where's the armory? I feel like it was here, wasn't it? There it is. Right around the corner here. Um, I'm gonna combine some items. Oh, shit. I've had enough. Clear off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. But I've got the coin. I swear it. I... Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin. All of it. Jesus. What do you owe that little punk, man? Alright, I guess we have to investigate. Fancy a look at my wares? Business could be better, but I'm scraping by. I mean... You come again. Wasn't he talking to you? Oh, tis you. Forgive my boldness. But would you be willing to lend me some gold? Dude! I swear you'll be repaid in full. <laughs> a trinket in yon shop caught my eye. A small, ornate box of exceptional craftsmanship. Alas, it would seem I do not have the coin on hand to put. I can certainly procure the gold later, but by then, if you'd be kind enough to lend me the amount... You know, man, why don't I just buy the box for you? Because... Well met, sir. I get a discount. 
How might I be of service? Do come again. Yes? Is there aught I can do for you? Or could it be that you've... You... You bought it for me. Thank you. I'll treasure this. You're a kind soul. Pray, let me... <laughs> Someday. <laughs> the guy gave himself plenty of time. That's pretty funny. All right. Friend, fair warning. From the tell of it, their what? lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. A goblin lair, you say? All right. Don't threaten me with a good time. Um... Yep, that's probably where we're going to find our slate-colored horns. So this, I was looking at this, the small fangs. We can upgrade chicken's weapon. And then we need, oh, minotaur horn. There's freaking minotaurs in this game? Dang. But no sack of gold. All right, cool. So that was the last thing I wanted to take care of before we end the episode because I'll forget by next time. So, all right, this one ran a little bit long, but we know where the, the goblin lair is now, so we're probably going to take care of that next time. Um, <clears throat> the performance issues seem to have kind of, like, calmed down a little bit because, as you guys can see in this episode, we did run into some dropped frames, but um, the game didn't crash, thankfully. Like, it crashed right after I killed the Cyclops on my first attempt, and that was... get. Out of my get out of my shot god these people are rude um anyway i hope you guys are enjoying dragon's dogma so far i'm having a blast playing this game don't care about the microtransactions the performance issues aren't even enough to stop me from playing this game because it's so damn fun the combat is great i love exploring i like that the game makes my brain tick it makes me think about like you know how do i get to that chest how do i get there how do i do this my brain is already cooking with ideas, and I think it's really solid. This is a really good game so far. It's not disappointing. It definitely does not fall short to the first game. I think it's quite a bit better in a few areas, specifically the combat. It's wonderful, but I'm really excited to get stronger on this character because I gotta tell you, all I can really think about is going back to that cave and destroying those two bosses we had to run away from. My pride is injured. I'm the prince of all Saiyans, but... Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's episode of Dragon's Dogma. I hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am so far. It's a blast to play. We haven't done a blind run of a game in quite a while on this channel. Salt and Sacrifice, I think, was the last one. But I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for sharing my channel and telling me, telling people that you like about my channel that you think would enjoy these videos too. I really appreciate that as well. It does more than you think. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. For more Dragon's Dogma 2.